Hi, I'm Andrew. Welcome to Craft Little Things. I'm going to do a couple of projects. I've got three lined up and I'm going to be using these stamping up little mini doilies. Um, the reason is that I've got loads of them. Um, I've won some, I've been gifted some, I've bought some and I've never used them. So I thought I'm going to do a couple of projects using them uh, in different ways. Um, I've also combined two kind of plans because I was planning on doing some projects using up some scrap because I've had a total revamp in my craft room and um, I've got my scrap stash um, together and it's not that big and I thought mm, I might try and use some of that up. So these um, three doily projects are also using just scraps of cardstock and paper so um, and little bits of ribbon and stuff like that. So. Yeah, um, if you're interested in using up some scraps or and doing some simple projects or you're interested in using some doilies, then keep watching for the next few days. Um, these, you get 24 in a pack, I think, for 2 75 So they're a really good value and they measure 3.5 um, inches in diameter. And you can either use them whole or you can use them partially, as you'll see or you can use them to stencil through or whatever. So I've just used them for three um, easy little projects. Okay, so the first one is um, gonna be a um, card which where we use the doily to make a little dress. Now this would be use this would be good for I suppose inviting someone to be your bridesmaid or for a wedding or for a prom card or anything, a, a pretty birthday so, card or something like that. Um and what I'm using here is Clipso Coral as a base. Now I don't know what, what happened here. I've had this card stock for quite a while. Only, you know, a year or less than a year. But it didn't feel as good as my other card stock. It it feels quite sugar papery. I don't know why that is. I don't know if I just got a bad batch or what. But anyway, I'm starting off with that as a base and um, this was just a piece of scrap I had in my, in my stash um, which measured eight by five and a half. So I just fold it in half and that's how I've got my card size. Then I've taken some Whisper White and again, this was just a scrap, an off cut. And this is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And what I did with that was I just run it through the um, big shot in an embossing folder in the softly falling. I think, and I think softly falling is still in the current catalogue. Um, and I'm going to use it like so as a layer on my card. And then what I did was got another piece of Calypso Coral and I used this um, gorgeous edging die which um, comes with the Love Notes framelits which are retired. I just want to show you, I'm not even going to show you the state of my framelits, but it's this one. <clears throat> And you can find these on resale if you haven't got them. I've seen them all over. I actually got mine on resale. Um, and you just position it on your cardstock. So you just position it on your cardstock like that and run it through the big shot. And what it does, it cuts out this side and then it just gives you that little flip up piece on the inside. So you'll lose whatever cardstock you had here. So it's not like it, you can inset it into the middle of a piece of cardstock. It'll cut that edge off okay but it won't release you from this edge I mean it'd be easy to sort of just cut up there if you wanted just a strip but I just wanted to show you that in case you weren't aware um, in case you just wondered how I got that edge so what I thought of doing my edges are a little bit fluffy what I thought of doing was putting that sort of there so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to pop that there I'm just going to go in between those to get that glue on. I'm just using Tombow for this because of the relief. Um, if I was to use tape it might not stick as well. 
I just prefer to use Tombow nowadays anyway. I used to be an absolute tape dispenser freak, but I do prefer Tombow. Tape dispensers can become, get so expensive, I think. So, flick those up if you want. Some of them will probably I'll flatten down again when I put the little dress on. And then, I just thought that was nice, just gave it a bit of relief. Um, oops. And then, for the sentiment, I was just going to stick this here. Just, just bring it in below, above this heart here. I thought I had a piece of clips of cord, but I obviously haven't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some dimensionals. I'm just going to stick some dimensionals on the back. It's up to you how many you use. Some people like to put dozens on and others just put a couple on. Some people might just put one on in the middle. Peel those off. When I was clearing my craft room, I um, found dozens and dozens of these <laughs> that got everywhere when I was sweeping all the, at the corners and whatever. Um, so I've just put all the best for future filled with love there. And that's from, I think that's from the Better Together. Yeah, that's from the Better Together stamp set, <clears throat> which is definitely still current. And then I made this little bow using Calypso Coral um, eighth of an inch shimmer. It's satin edged ribbon and I was going to pop that on there somewhere but I don't know. Let me just leave it there. So then I made this little dress and I made this little dress using two doilies and then I popped on the basic gems rhinestones from Stampin' Up. I use the smaller ones for the hem and the same Calypso Coral uh, ribbon for the band around the waist. Now I've seen lots of different ways to make um, these little dresses um, using a heart punch to get the top and do you know what I was going to use a heart punch and then I realised I haven't got one. I did have a heart punch and I gave it to my daughter. So that's gone on my list of things I have to buy. I have got heart dies, but I couldn't find one the right size. So to make my <clears throat> doily dress, I'll just show you briefly how I did it. I turned it round, can you see, against that? I don't know if you can. Let me just get a piece of, just get a piece of scrap card so you can see on top of it, uh, scrap paper. Uh, can you believe it's a, nearly a year since this lovely series retired? I'm still using it. And then what I did was I folded it down to just about a third of the way down. And then I just folded it across. Just so about an inch. And kept that flush with that side and that just gave me <clears throat> this nice sort of um, scalloped edge of the dress kind of look okay I and mean, if you look at that one you can see I did it a little bit I probably folded it a little bit more to start with and went so that that layer met with the solid layer there and then folded it over okay it's up to you whatever you want to do and then what some people do is they do they cut out then from another doily using the heart punch and they just slot it on to the back well they fold down this corner and then glue that down and then just cut a piece out they stick a doily to a piece of white card and then they punch it out with a heart punch. But like I said, I didn't have that. 
So I've got another doily. I'll use the same one. And what I did was I just cut out a section. So you can see I chose the two pieces here and I cut out, you can see what I mean, where the two pieces are larger, I cut out halfway through those small pieces and then I just cut down and cut out this centre piece just to get that heart shape. And then I just stuck it onto the back of itself, if you like, like that, and glued it onto the back of my little dress. And then I stuck my diamond on and that was it. So hopefully that was clear as uh, it could be. It was probably as clear as mud, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick my little dress on with some dimensionals. But do have a look on um, YouTube for the, the way other people do it because if you have a heart punch then it does look easier. I'm just going to stick a few on because I've not got an even background. I don't want them to peep through though. So I'm just put a few on. Make sure it's well fastened on. You know, these dimensionals, you, when you're not on camera, they just pull straight off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it about there. So we've got that bottom heart showing and these, these two, because we don't want to cover them all up. And just press on where you've got your dimensionals. And then I've still got this little bow. I don't know what to do with it now. I'm quite pleased that I managed to make such a tiny bow. I think I might just stick it there with a the glue dot. Let me just stick it there with a the glue dot. Should I pop it there or should I pop it down here? I don't think I'll pop it there. I'll just stick it on the end there of that. There we go. And that's it. That's my little doily card quite pretty like I say it's just zoom you in a little bit it's quite nice to use for a wedding or um, an engagement congratulations or a, um, a wedding shower or hen night whatever um, <clears throat> or like I say you could use it for a prom party you could use it for someone who's been a bridesmaid whatever so I hope you enjoyed making that um, and like I said, I think all of these, everything I've used is current in Stampin' Up! So if you want any of the materials, find yourself a Stampin' Up! demonstrator who sells things. I don't at the moment. So yeah, that embossing I think just gives it that little bit of relief, a little bit of interest. And this little heart detail just adds something. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed making that. And tomorrow I'm going to be doing a doily project which is a little bit less colourful. Okay, thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.